Hello everybody. Don's starting a fire in the wood stove because I made him. He had all the heaters going. How come I just had to un uh, shut off all the heaters? 103. Yeah. There was that one, which I don't even think might have kicked on only maybe a couple times overnight. And there was that one and the one in the back bedroom. That was it. Well, because the thermostat was up on this one over here on the other side of the chair, too. But we're blowing up where we're never picked on. And the one in the second living room was plugged in. I don't recall plugging that one. I just had to unplug it. But anyway, the point is, you've been running heaters instead of using the wood stove, and our power bill is murder. It was murder last month, and it's insane homicide this month. We just got the power bill, so you got to quit it. Use the firewood. Yeah, then once we run out, what are you going to do then? Then we will have to use the heaters. But until then, that's why we don't have Christmas presents or anything this year, because all the money went to the power bill. And oh, it's going to be I worse next year, or uh, next, next month. To you. What? I up the Christmas or I'm going to give them to you. Well, yeah, yeah, you got me Christmas ornaments for Christmas, which thank you, but I can't get you anything. So... Just open them off wide. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I stopped watching YouTube while I was down uh, downloading and uploading all the old videos to the current channel, and I ran way behind, like two weeks, three weeks behind. So I'm trying to catch up. This is RFS Dan. And uh, I have a ton to catch up on. So that's yay. And another thing we didn't tell you guys is that one of Don's Oscar fish died a couple months ago, I guess. Don't know why. We have everything right. The tank is clean. We test the water. The temperature is right. The chemical levels are right. But he was fine one day and dead the next. So I don't know. This guy better live. And then hiding over here somewhere is Don's great big ugly fish. Right here. Great big ugly black uh, Placo fish and he's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. He's, when he comes out and flops around he looks scary. What are you two nutballs doing? We're smoking now under the bed. Come on White Storm. Oh, <laughs> here comes Smokey from the other direction. But we still have to get paint and paint this hallway because when Evie was here, she ate the hallway. She ate everything. She ate the Roku remote. She ate the dresser drawer knobs. She ate the walls. So that's one of our to-do list projects is painting the hallway to uh, not look like trash because that, that stuff like that makes us look like bad people so that's based on comments I've received but anyway I won't go into that but today it's not snowing which is good time to say it's kind of warm out today good Tog say hi Tog Gizzard, you bad boy. <laughs> well, don't smoke you. Get in here, Tug. Well, Gizzard will come back in. He doesn't like snow. Why do you always seem to be the one to always <laughs> let the animals out when you're the one that complains about, oh, don't let them out? And then you always end up letting one of them out. Well, we'll get him back in. We'll just shake the treat jar, like last time. There he is. Just had to shake this over and over and over. Don't go outside. You know that gray cat is out there who wants to beat you up. You don't like that. Dinner tonight is going to be this. these little chickens. There's two of them in there. Slow cooked in the crock pot all day. And then we'll add potatoes, carrots, and onions later. 
so that should be good. And you, it's not even cooked yet. You can't have any yet. So this isn't going to work out for dinner tonight. So it'll be, it will be dinner tomorrow night. And it will go on high for 24 hours total. Because the problem here is that these chickens were farm chickens. And they got too old and then they were given to us. And when you cook them, they're like rubber. So it's going to take like 24 hours for them to get tender. So I told Don we could make something else for dinner, which is going to be pasta, basically spaghetti, but with this all mixed together. And then this cheese over top. Better idea? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because we had four of those and we made two last week or so and they were so hard that Don had to put his in the pressure cooker for hours before he could chew it up. I don't have to be in the pressure cooker for hours. I want to put it in there for like 40, 45 minutes. No, it was longer than that because we, after you put it in, we went to Becky and Troy's for a while, remember? That was already taken off. Oh. It was only in there like 40, 45 minutes. It was in there for fucking hours. There ain't give me nothing left. It's going to be just plop. <laughs> plop. Yeah. Give me a spoon feeding that hit to somebody. Huh. So, anyway, I just got out of the shower. And not much has really happened today, but I'm going to try to make these daily. Even if I don't post daily or upload daily, I'm going to try to film something every day. Some of them might be multi-day ones, but I'm going to try to film at least something every day. And then those of you who saw yesterday's video saw what happened when I tried to give these guys their yogurt drops. They tried to take my fingers too, and now my finger is sore. You guys stay in there. The problem is that these yogurt drops are the size of chocolate chips and they're used to great big ones. So I'm going to try to use these tweezers to give them to them instead. Okay, we'll see if I can save my fingers this time. Come here, ice cream. Come on. Okay, there you go. There, you got it Mocha. Ice cream, do you want yours or not? Whoop! <laughs> Jeez! Here! There! Now that saves my fingers! So that's how you guys have to get your yogurt drops from now on. So time to merge the two things. Merge? Yeah. Yummy. I'm gonna put a whole clove of garlic in here too. A whole clove or a whole thing? A whole bunch? Uh, one of them whole cloves. No, like well, that, that, that's the whole bunch. Yeah. A clove is one little piece. So good, it'll be nice and garlicky. So I have one last little chapter to go in this. And then the, the little manga at the end. No, that's not it. This. This is part of the story, too. And then it's on to this one. And I have a few more super editions to go that I should have read way back toward the beginning, but I didn't know it. So I'm going to catch up on those, and then I'm going to read Dawn of the Clans, and then A Vision of Shadows, and then I'll be ready to start the new series, Lost Hope, or, or whatever, Lost Stars, whatever it is. And now it's time to eat dinner. Looks great to me. Thank you for making dinner. Oh, you're welcome. And then after dinner, we have to go to Becky and Troy's to scan for their channels on their TV because I do everything. So we just got back from Becky and Troy's and I got their TV set up for them but it only detected three channels so they need a better not a better antenna but I don't know by the way they made it sound they have the antenna hooked to the TV by some weird little wire I don't know they're supposed to be using coax but whatever but when we walked in it smells really good in here because of this chicken. But it has to go, like we said, for by the time we eat it, it will be 26 hours in the slow cooker because it is extraordinarily tough meat. And Becky and Troy said that the chickens weren't that old, but I don't know. It seems more like they're 20 year old chickens or something because the older they are, the tougher they get. 
but Don's filling up the wood stove. It's 88 degrees in here though. Don't matter, even just because it's hot in here doesn't mean you don't put wood in the wood stove. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. Ugh. It'll add to damper down the heat a little bit. Good, because it is, is all, hot in here. And this is all frozen. <laughs> I had to break all this loose. Yeah. Our whole wood pile is all frozen from that rain that we had and then it froze. Jeez. So our whole wood pile is like a big block of frozen wood. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's snow all over the wood. No one knows. I had a hard time getting this arm loaded. Yeah. Hi, White Storm. You still waiting for this chicken? Well, you're not going to get any. Not right now. <laughs> Silly kitty. It, was that a meow? You talk so quiet, nobody can hear you. And you have white fur around your eyes, so it makes your eyes look gigantic. <laughs> You're a silly looking cat. But anyway, it is five minutes to ten at night. So I guess we're going to go ahead and say good night. And we hope you enjoyed the video. And that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Say good morning. Okay. I mean, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you got a funny look on your face saying that. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.